Hey everyone, my name is Terry Maskey. I am a Walker mom. I have Cal in sixth grade and Lily in ninth grade. I work in the corporate world, but I am a part-time fitness instructor. I teach at the Buckhead YMCA five to six times a week, teaching live classes as well as virtual formats. Darren shut down. We were all in a virtual format as well. Um, so today is just a 30 minute from beginning to end, 30 minute cardio body weight workout. So we will be going up and down off this floor. That is a daily function. You'll also see some other daily function moves uh, within the workout. And one of the things that my classes and I all love is music to help us move. So I have some music playing in the background. Feel free to turn on your music just to jam it out because that's really sometimes the only way you can make a bicep and a squat exciting. Always remember to keep the weight in your heels, your chin and chest up, and just listen for the cues, even though I may not be able to see you. So have fun and let's get going. Hit the music. I need those shoulders back and down in their pockets. All the way back and down, deep rolls, taking it back. That belly is scooped in, your chin is off your chest. Now put your weight in your heels, your booty is back, and give me a squat, down and up. Knees are always behind those toes. You want to avoid putting your weight in your toes, which pushes you forward, all right? When you're ready, add a knee. Add a knee. Yep. Chin and chest up, belly scooped in. All right, let's add on. Take that leg front. Give me a little rotation if you are ready for it. Weight is still in those heels. Booties back. I need one more on each side. Now we're gonna fall out to the side. Fall out and tap. Fall out, tap. Arms are always optional. They're like fancy jewelry. Now I'm gonna add a lift. Knees and toes are still front. Weight is still in the heels. I'm gonna add on again. So bring it up, squat, up, fall out. Up, squat, up, fall out. Yeah, I just need two more. This is your last one. Now, can you hold it up for me and give me a balance? I'm turning slightly so you can see me. Just take a little lunge back. Knee is bent, chest is up. Knee is behind the toe. Now let's hold it back for just a second. I want you to hinge forward at the waist, extend your back leg. Bring that chest up, bend that back leg. Extend forward. Feel that in your front leg. Bend it up, feel it in your back. Two more. One more. Now hold it up. I want you just to drop it to one side and give you a stretch. Up and out of that rib cage. One more each side. 10 toes front, down and up. Now are you ready? We gotta do that whole thing and I'm skipping over so I don't run into my mat. Fall out, tap, out, tap, out, tap. Yep, adding on, adding those arms. Remember fancy jewelry, knees and toes in front. One more, let's add on again. Squat down, lift up, fall out. Yes. Come on. Last one. Last one. Can you hold it again for me? Now remember, let's take this leg back. Bend that back leg. Bring it in. Little balance challenge. Yes. Woo. All right. Now hold it here. Let's hinge forward again. Bring that chest up. Bend that back leg. Hinge forward. Arms are back. Long lines. Head to ankle. Bring it up. Bring it forward. We're gonna go for one more, one more. Yes. Bring it up and hold. Drop it to one side, up and out of that rib cage. One more each side. 10 toes in front again. Hey, I want you to get ready. because We're gonna go to the mat in just a minute. Or to the floor. Notice I'm making my legs a little lighter. My knees and toes are still in alignment. Now hold it right here. Just want you to start by shifting your weight to the side. You can straighten out your leg. Oh, that was bright sunlight. What? 
All right, now hold it in the center. Can you lift it up either side? Feel that nice stretch back to legs. Again, shifting it, shifting it, lifting it. Also notice the fitness work. Just keep it clean. All right, now, are you ready? Can you take one hand down? Can you take the other? Can you step back? And I'm going to turn to the side so you can see your body is like a surfboard. Step in, step in, sit back. Step, step, in, in. Two more, I'm gonna give you an option. Jump, jump, your choice. Now, can you hold it here please in a nice plank? Step to one side, nice lunge. Okay, another option for you. Come down to a tabletop and step forward. There are always options. You have to listen to your body today. Now push it back, add it on. Let's drive some heat, which means speed it up if you can. And if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, one more each side. We're coming up. Good. Walk it back toward those toes. Always walk back first. Booties are back. Round it up. So this next one, it's cardio. You have about eight moves. We'll do go for about 10 dish reps, and then we'll repeat it. Are you ready? You're starting with body weight squats. Weight at the heels, just be able to lift those toes. Let's go. It is your pace. Chin off that chest, belly scooped in. Two more. Good, now side to side. Then side, center, side, center. Stay low if you can. Knees are still behind the toes. My dog agrees with me. I need two more each side. One more, here comes one of my favorite ones. Kick butt. Get those heels to the booty. All right, here comes some options. You're coming up to your toes, popping in those toes. Or if you're really feeling sassy, click those heels. Two more. Landing softly. Good. Now fall out. Reach up. Fall out. Reach up. Fall out. Knees and toes in front. You're reaching for that floor or whatever works for you. Honey, one more each time. Yeah. Now one of my favorites, coming down to the floor again, half burpees. So you're stepping or jumping and send that booty back. Just like we did in the warm up. Yeah, can you speed it up, please? Woo! Yeah. Almost there. Come on. Two more. Yeah. Ready up. Are you ready? Jacks. Hey, options. Reach it over. Yeah. Come on. Now, plyo skaters, you can keep that toe down. You can take it up off that floor. It really is up to you. You can add those arms. Come on, three more each side. Let's start the top, yes. Are you ready? Go for about eight. Down and up. Yes. All right, next up, side, center, side. You got it. Chest up. Booties are back. Weight in the heels. Two more each side. Woo. Heel clicks. They're good for you. They're like Russell sprouts. Okay? When they're not fresh, of course. Here we go. Woo. You got it. Fall out to the side. Don't really fall out. I mean, lean to the side. Lunge side. Woo! Use that hand for sport if you need it. One more each side. I'm gonna skip those half burpees because we're coming to the ground next. Skip your jacks. In the playa skaters. Woo! Start bringing your heart rate down. Put that toe down, but not much. It's more of an active rest. Now, if you need it, like I do, grab a sip of 
All good. Now, your next moves are on the mat, okay? Four moves, multiple options. Hey, if anything, just hold an elbow plank. All right, really listen to your body and just work up to it. Join me, let's go to the mat now. I'm gonna pull it out some so you can see it a little bit better. Your first move is gonna be down and up on the mat, coming down. Let's go into an elbow plank first. Elbows right underneath those shoulders. Body is like a surfboard, booty is down. Scooping that belly chain off your chest. Up, up, down, down. If you can, alternate sides. It's okay if you don't, as long as you're moving. Hey, take a wider stance. If you wanna avoid, Woo! Those hips for a team. Yes. One more. Each side for two more. Two. Yes. Now, if you need it, always take a stretch in between. That's always up to you. Or let's keep moving. Hands on the mat, wrists underneath those shoulders, pushing off the floor into a low hover. I want you to walk down your mat. Three or four steps. And then on you. Yes. And walk it back. Hey, the lower your knees are to the ground, the more challenging. But listen to your body. Keep your back flat. Scoop in your belly. Yes. Now, not enough. Walking in a plank. Always options. So just remember that chin is off the chest. That booty is tight. Think apples, not applesauce. And belly is scooped in. Let's go for one more round. You've got this. Let's go. I hope you kept what's going and then stop. I forgot to tell you. All right, here you go. Oh, uh, you know what? That was so fun. Let's do it one more time. Last one, last one. Come down, stretch your back. Now, in an elbow plank or a hand plank, I want you to just pull that knee in. Pull that knee in, rib cage to hip bone. Wrist right underneath the shoulders, or a little bit more core intensity on your elbows. Or for a third option, in a tabletop. Now, if you want, I invite you to take it across your body. Chin off that chest, yes. Now this time I'm going into a down dog. We're gonna to go to the next move. Everyone's favorite, push-ups. Yes, I know. All right, so I want you to glide these arms right next to your body. You have a couple of options here. One is right above the knees. So I'll turn the back just slightly. Oops, there we go. Just slightly, you're right above your knees. Elbows close to your body, down and up. Your next option, start on your toes, lower yourself, come up above your knees or on your toes, or full out on your toes. Come on, not many of them at all. Four, three, two, you've got this, one. All right, bring it up. Remember last thing, it was the head. Grab water if you need it. We're going into a Tabata count. Right leg, four moves. Left leg, four moves. Are you ready? Step it forward, daily function. Off that curve, down that step, and kick your booty. Well, kick your booty may not be a daily function. It's a lot more fun. Here you go. I am being timed. When I stop, you stop. We'll use an active rest in between. All right, from here, just step it back and step forward. You will see this move again when we combine it. Yes. Now hold it in a reverse lunge. Up to a knee, up to a tap. It is your choice. Knee is always behind the toe. Witness in that heels. Lift it up. Scoop it in that belly. You got it. Active breast. 
Take this and cross it behind you. It is your range of movement. Tapping or knee up. Tap or knee up. I'm going to do a knee up. Now we're in the next round. You only have one more round after this on this side. Well, we'll combine all the moves. Forward, back, and cross. Yes. All right, let's practice. It's forward, kick booty, reverse, knee up, cross behind. Yep, forward, kick booty, reverse, knee up, cross behind. Hey, it's also a balance challenge. Something we all need to work on every day. Yes. You got it. Next up, the other side. Second three moves. I'm gonna go for one more. All right, other side, stepping forward. You're gonna kick booty. Are you ready? Let's go. Forward, kick booty. The back leg is as low as your body says, hey, that's okay. Maybe each day, try and get a little lower. Yes. Stepping off the curve, down the step, daily function. Belly scooped in. Yeah, active. Reverse lunge to that forward lunge. So everyone has a wobble side. This is mine. Yeah. Are you ready? Reverse lunge only. Now you can tap in or up to that knee. Always your choice. Chin off your chest. Keep breathing. And smile. Lunges are fun. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, music. All right, practicing. Cross behind to reverse. Knee up, cross. Now, on that cross, remember you can tap or that knee up. So this is all we're doing right now. Cross behind, also known as a curtsy lunge. Yes. Next up, we combine all three and you're done with this movement. What? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hold, practicing. Front kick, knee, crossover. Front kick booty, reverse lunge, knee, crossover. Yep, you got it. You're almost done. Come on. What can we do? Last one. Yes. Oh, good job. Grab water if you need it. Come on, guess what? You only have three songs left. Next one up, cardio. Okay? When you're ready, I just need you side to side. Hold, hit. Walk it forward. You're in a low squat. It's called a monster walk. It's forward and back. Yeah. Bring it up. Here's option one. You lift a leg. Option one. Option two. Two drafts. I'll show you option three. Next time. Can you bring it forward? Can you take it back? Bring it front. I'm low, but my knees are behind my toes. Chest up, remember, option one. Two men, two legs, listen to me. Two jacks is option two. Here comes option three. Forward and back, boom, take it back. You got it. Pick your option, one, two, or three. Bring it front. Could you get a little lower? No, is it okay? As long as you're moving. Back to the earth. 
Pick your option. Boom! By the way, you can also just step. That hop, completely optional. You're almost there. Are you ready? Pull out your mat. So, we're going to start out in place. One of my favorites. We're also going to go to side planks. You'll see my booty a little because I want y'all to see everything. Coming down. Nice table hover like we did before. Step it out. In, in, out, out. All right, coming to the side. Hand, side plank, or elbow. I'm going to be on my elbow. Lifting up. Knee down or stack your legs. When you're ready, just hip up and down for four. Push up out of the shoulder. When you're ready, pull that knee in. Yes. Now, can you hold this and thread the needle? Thread that needle. Bring it up. Rotate that body. Hey, a hand side plank is fine too. Thought there's my wrist up the wall. Now, rotate back over. Come to that nice table, hover, step out, out, in, in. Back is flat. Now, you can also pick this up. Make sure that chin is off your chest. Keep going. Belly is scooped in. You got it. Hey, I'm going to switch to the other side. On your hand or on your elbow, stack your legs, one knee down. When you're ready, hips are down and up. Pushing up and out of that shoulder. When you're ready, pull that knee extend. Yeah, when you're ready, we're at that needle. Yes. All right, now you can see a different angle. Coming back to that table, hover. Back is flat. Push up. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in. If you want, pick it up. Now hold, push it back. Yes, come back to a nice plank or a table hover, your choice. Push it back. You're not done yet, though, people. Yes. You're almost there. So now you've got one more song. For this one, we're going to start on the back. Grab water if you need it. We're going to start on the back. By the way, this is a break. And if you want to sit up, but you need a little support, grab a sofa throw pillow. Put the a recording on pause. Grab a sofa throw pillow. Or a squishy ball, okay? It's called a bender ball. It goes behind the back. Optional. I'm going to show you options. You're going to start out on your back. Putting that ball down now for our sofa throw pillow. Come all the way down. When you're ready, elbows wide, feet on the mat. Back push chin, scoop in your belly, chin off your chest. You're just lifting. Lift those shoulders up. Avoid bringing those elbows in. Keep them wide. Yeah, just lift it up. Now, Charlie's Angel's arms. Give me your guns. Lift, lift, rotate, rotate, rotate. All this is a one option. So here we go. Three, two, hold. Three, two, hold. I'm gonna add on. Three, two, kick. Three, two, Kick. Anytime your neck is bothering you, stick an arm behind you. Or put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Sounds silly, but it works. Now that was all option one. Are you ready? I'm going to sit up. So roll yourself up. Shoulders are back and down. You're leaning back at your comfort level. You can even hold on to your legs to sink back and sit up. 
Now, if you wanted to, you take that sofa throw pillow or bender ball and just place it behind your back for a little more support. That's option three. Are you ready? Charlie's ankle. Hold. 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 Adding on. It's not a high kick. You're just lifting that leg as you pause with the rotation. Chin is off your chest. Yeah. I have sweat coming down. Wow. Now, if you need to, you can always take a break by going rib cage to hip bone and then sit up tall. It's a cat and cow in a seated position. All right, then you decide if you want to sink back again, use some support, or go to your bed. Always options. Charlie's Angel Guards. Three, two, hold. Can you rotate further? Can you lift higher? Add it on. Add that leg. Add that leg. Leg. Yes. So I can't see you, obviously, but I can feel your energy. Keep it up. Because we're almost done. Last one. Sitting up, crisscross applesauce. Leaning it forward. You can even reach your hands out in front. So now we're going to start the cool down. Just giving you a little stretch after getting that work done. Woo, yes, I know. That sun is blinding. Here we go. Let's go back. There we go. Now, can you walk your hands over to one side? Feel that stretch up and out of your rib cage. Come back centered. Your hands, could you walk them out a little further? Now, I'm going to switch my legs. That's totally optional. All right, it's up to you and your body. It's just a good stretch for your hips and opening up. Now, walk it to the other side, up and out of that rib cage. Yep. Good job. Bring it back. Walking in. Since we're at home, I'm going to hit the mat. We don't always do this when we're in facilities because some people don't feel comfortable. That's okay. I want you on your stomach, elbows down, right underneath those shoulders. And then I just want you to stretch it forward. Bring it in and lift yourself up, half or full cobra. Hey, this works. You're just getting a good spinal stretch, okay? This works. If your body says, hey, that's okay. One more time, stretch it out, walk it out. Walk it in. Lift up where your body says it's okay. Now, if you can, put one arm down parallel, grab that back leg. Another way to do a quad stretch. Now, we also like to do on standing for about, but hey, when you're at home, you can always hold on to a countertop or chair too. Grab that other side. Now, with your palms, push yourself up and come back to a nice tabletop. Toes down and back. I want you to push your booty in the air, down dog. Push it back. Oh, what a good stretch. Bring it back to that nice tabletop. Bring your chest up and step forward into a nice lunge. The knee is behind the toe. Feel this stretch. Nice hip flexor stretch. Only if your body says, okay, you can always come up off that knee. Now, opposite arm comes across, holding above or below the elbow. If you need to, you can also distribute your weight or stay in this nice stretch. Arm comes up and overhead for that stretch. Now, straighten out your front leg. Sit back or squat back to that heel. Feel that nice stretch. Come up. Take this leg around, however that works for you. Chest is up. Other leg forward, pushing into this nice stretch. Knee is behind the toe. Opposite arm comes across, pushing that shoulder down. Again, come off your knee or distribute your weight if you need to. Arm up and overhead. Straight 
straighten out your legs, and then we're going to come up. So straighten out your legs, squat back or sit back. Feel this nice stretch. Come back up, leg comes around, palms down, toes down, booties up. Now this time, walk your hands back towards your toes. You should be weight in the heels and be able to lift your toes up. Feel that stretch in the backs of your legs. Avoid falling over. Now hands above those legs, round it up. Last thing up is the head. Shoulders are back and down. Couple more stretches and you're done. Can you take these hands behind your back or push them in together? I'm gonna get your rotator cuffs and then you're done. So stick your hip out like Victoria's Secrets. Wrist to hip, it also is a hip stretch. Now, take this arm and slightly pull it forward. Avoid pulling at the shoulder or elbow, just in the middle. Yeah. Switch your hip, Victoria's Secrets. Wrist to hip, pull it forward. You got it. Thank you so much for watching this recording or joining me today. I really appreciate it. Big breath up. One more. Hands to the heart. Thank you. Fantastic job.